We all know today is a Martin Luther King Jr. Day, a federal holiday to celebrate and honor the life of Dr. King, a remarkable civil rights leader who fought against the long-standing segregation and racial discrimination with his peaceful marches and non-violent protests. It is important for all kids to know about Dr. King's life and legacy, how he led peaceful protests to help end segregation during the American Civil Rights Movement, and how it is critical now with what is happening around us. Under the U.S. law, everyone has equal rights, but in real life, people often have different experiences based on the color of their skin. That is not okay. I, I still remember the feeling I had listening to George Floyd's story from my mom. The Black Lives Matter movement happening and how important it is for all of us to learn, engage, and act. Dr. King was born in Atlanta, Georgia in 1929. He was a kid, just like all of us, but his childhood went through in an era of discrimination, where segregation was a fact of life. Not everybody was treated the same. People looked at the color of skin to decide how they should be treated. But he grew up to be a great man, a great man with a dream to change the world around him, to spread love, to bring people together. So he marched for it. He led many peaceful protests. He wrote several books and articles bringing people together. Along the way, he had to face several obstacles. He was jailed many times. He was threatened, but he did not stop calling for equality. Out of all his speeches, the most memorable one at one of the largest civil rights gatherings in U.S. history in 1963 is the I Have a Dream speech, which he delivered on the steps of the Lincoln Memorial to a crowd of more than 250,000 people. That was one of the most important speeches in our nation's history. His famous lines from the speech, I have a dream that one day this nation will rise up and live out the true meaning of its creed. We hold these truths to be self-evident that all men are created equal. I have a dream that my four little children will one day live in a nation where they will not be judged by the color of their skin, but by the content of their character. Powerful words from Dr. King, which still keeps resonating after all these years about a dream of equality for all. Martin Luther King Jr. made it his life's mission to bring compassion, fairness, and equality to all. On this day, many celebrate by honoring Dr. King's life, volunteering in shelters, schools, and other community organizations to honor the legacy of service and commitment. And most importantly of all, raising awareness on this long-standing racial injustice. Today, I have one of my friends joining me on the show. She is my neighbor, and let's talk to her on how she's raising awareness on MLK Day. Please welcome Ananya Rao. Hi Ananya, how are you today? I'm good, how are you? Great! Thank you so much for joining my show today. <laughs> Thank you, it's my, the pleasure is mine. So, do you want to introduce yourself to all our friends watching the show? Uh, sure. My name is Ananya Rao. I'm a 7th grader at RJ Gray in Acting Boxborough. Nice! So, today is MLK Day and I think it is important for all of us to know about why we celebrate this day and the history behind it. And it is even important for us to spread awareness on this great movement. 
which is very much relevant even today. So, do you want to talk about what you have been doing today to support the MLK Day? Uh, sure. Um, so, I reached out, uh, there's this thing going around called the Orange Ribbon Campaign, and it's just a simple way to bring awareness and show our love. Um, it's basically where you go around and tie orange ribbons on your mailboxes for, uh, with permission, of course, on your neighbor's mailbox. That is so awesome, Ananya. And I'm waiting to get the orange ribbon on our mailbox today. Call me when you're at my place, okay? Mm-hmm. So, tell us more about the orange ribbon campaign and the Acton Boxer United Way efforts. Uh, sure. So... Um, uh, the orange means that or in the UN, there is a holiday. It's where it's a day where you just discriminate racial injustice. So orange was chosen for that. So we're tying orange ribbons and it's just a simple sign. It started uh, when in an AB school committee meeting, two black members were racially attacked. So um, the orange ribbon campaign was to support them and other people of color. That is great to hear, and I think it is really, really important because it is not the policies that will bring change, but the people. We all need to come together as a community to stand up against racism and discrimination. So, what do you think kids can do and should be doing to get more involved? Uh, so, if you hear about a rally that's happening locally, you can go and promote anti-racist behavior and make sure to speak out about any experiences you might have happened. Also, if in school you see a classmate or class or friend being racist or they're a victim of racial behavior, make sure to kindly remind them and talk to them to stop the action. Well said. And I totally agree with you. We kids are never too young to know about what is happening in the society. And well, we are that future society. And we should be the change makers now. We cannot just sit silent as if it's someone else's problem. So, Ananya, your act of raising awareness today on the most important issue we are all facing has got our little community together to show support and love for each other. Thank you so much for joining me today. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you. right to do what is right to help put an end to the racial discrimination everyone has to take an active role to help in their own way kids can start by reading books that celebrate diversity learn about different cultures be more aware and get an understanding of what is happening around us day to day and with this awareness we need to stand up. When we encounter racism around us, among our friends at school, speak up. When you see something that isn't right, say something. Make them understand it is not right. And let us encourage our friends to do the same. Let us all be the change makers and take Dr. King's dreams forward. Thank you.